Hello Seekers, welcome to Sadgamaya, your one-stop destination for short astrology videos for astrology on the go. 5th of May, we'll experience a lunar eclipse. A lunar eclipse which is partial lunar eclipse, like a penumbral lunar eclipse, which is called Upachaya Graha. This Upachaya Chandra Grahan will, uh, will affect each one of our life because Moon will be with Ketu during this time. And when Moon, with Ketu, Moon is with Ketu in the sign of Libra, there are four planets right in front of the Moon. Sun, Mercury, Jupiter and Rahu. So whenever this happens, remember Moon is reflection. Wh whatever sits with the Moon acquires the flavor of the Moon. Imagine water. Now, uh, imagine water which is red in color, water which is blue in color. So whatever reflection you will see from that water will not be a true reflection, but will be from the color that the water holds. Like imagine uh, seeing things from a tinted glass. Imagine I'm wearing a, a sunglass and the sunglass color is black. So that automatically, or if it is blue, automatically it will give a shade of blue over the top uh, on the actual color. So you will see a different shade of a reality during this time, which means any major or important decision should not be taken uh, around the eclipse or 50, up to 15 days from the date of eclipse. Major decisions, I'm not talking about all decisions, but something that can alter your life. See, the thing is that Libra is called balance, balance of mind, balance of reality, balance of existence. And Libra is also Bhavad Bhavam from Cancer. So if Moon is in Libra, then from the perspective of Kal Purush, that means from the divine time, fourth Lord is fourth from itself, which means happiness will be affected. So the way you feel happy will be affected. A lot of people who have Mental issues will get affected because of depression. Uh, there can be some uh, mental anxiety. A lot of people will face anxiety or nervousness during this time. May, and I'm not saying that automatically it may come, but there will be events that may make you overthink, that may make you become nervous. Chant Krishna Mantra, chant Vishnu Sahastra Naam. On the day of eclipse, you can also pray Mahamrutunjay Mantra. Any such mantra that gives you power, pray on the day of eclipse. And for the next 15 to 20 days, take a sankalp for that. Take a sankalp of 21 days and then chant one mantra, just one mantra that you like and continue chanting that mantra. What it will do is it will give you a lot of power and you know somebody is there to support you. Because Libra affects business, you will have to be very careful if you are doing business, especially export and import, or if you're doing a business related to shop objects, anything that is, has to do with Ketu, life, scissors, operation equipments, or anything that has to do with life, death, critical medicines, and all such healing practices. You have to go inward, do meditate, people involved in wellness, healing, spiritual healing, energy, therapies, crystal, tarot, astrology, will see great boost because of this eclipse, because it will touch the inner spiritual core. This is the time to awaken your Kundalini. I'm not saying that everyone will be, but at least you can focus your own mind, concentrate and try to meditate. That will be the theme of this eclipse. Make the best use of this energy. That was a quick take. For more detailed video, you can watch the, uh, the, the clear explanation, the big explanation on my main channel, the link which will be in the description box and the pinned comment section below. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe this channel for quick, short updates so that you can quickly understand the transits. This is your host Puneet. Namaste.